deep within a Transylvanian mountain. The world's most evil monsters were imprisoned. I, Dr. Henry Davenport, the Invisible Man, was their jailer. Alas, my friends and I underestimated our evil prisoner, Vampire. He planned to escape by shrinking, but the spell shrank Monster Mountain instead and blew us all the way to Los Angeles. Now we must recapture those evil monsters, Vampire, Medusa, and Swamp Beast. But it isn't easy when you're one inch high. Edgar Raven, the world-famous horror writer, was the only human who might truly understand our predicament. Unfortunately, he was away, but his ten-year-old daughter Carrie wasn't. And now we're just monsters in her pocket. Monsters in her pocket! One vial of balsamic vinegar, a teaspoon of taco sauce, extra hot, one ounce of baking soda, and a test tube of diluted tomato ketchup. Gosh, Dr. Davenport, we could have a great picnic with those ingredients. Finding a growth formula is no laughing matter, Miss Raven. It's a precise and exacting science. <laughs> it's not exactly great for my arm, you know. <laughs> Aw, poor little Big Ed. He's straining his stitches. Don't touch that test tube, it's fragile. Hey, it's my chemistry set. And it's my job to see that we get big before vampires, evil monsters do. And that won't happen with you playing around. Uh, how long do I have to hold these things, Doc? Patience, Big Ed. I hope the moment comes soon, man. I can't take too many more round trips. Here, Wolfman, let me stir that for you. No, 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 child. Don't touch that spoon. If even one single drop spills, it'll ruin the experiment. Gee, I'm just trying to help. You guys are kind of small, you know. In a moment, I hope to remedy that. Fine. Why don't I just go read one of my dad's books? He writes all about big monsters. <clears throat> now that she's out of our hair, we can proceed. Pour in baking soda. And diluted tomato ketchup. <clears throat> I mean, increase heat precisely to medium. Medium, yes. You can depend on me, Doc. <laughs> Stuck. <laughs> Gotta be a can of palm oil in here somewhere. I had it just a century ago. Whoa! I haven't seen this since I remodeled my pyramid. Uh -oh. No, Mommy, the heat's too hot. Should have let me help, Dr. Davenport. Sorry I'm such a klutzy mummy, Doc. Accidents happen. Unfortunately, the end result is we're no bigger than before. <laughs> no, but you're a lot squishier. <laughs> I said, now, a drawer paint, I don't mind. We're ourselves again. Gee, now you look like real. Monsters! You're not scared of us now, are you, Carrie? Me? Scared? Of a few, few monsters? Nah. <laughs> it was just kind of a shock. What is all the racket down there? <gasps> it's Helga. Hide! <laughs> We can't fit in these rags, man. We can now. <laughs> We're shrinking again. Oh, how does one child make such a mess? Even on the ceiling. Um, I I'm growing stalagmites. Oh, or is it stalactites? Um, anyway, my new formula kind of got out of hand and <laughs> kablooied. Well, that's science for you. Oh, Helga think Carrie have wild imagination, like her father. Now Helga must clean up. I start with the wash. No, Helga, I'll take these. Ah, Carrie has helped enough for one day. Oh, 
not what we're going to do. Swim! This is a lot rougher than the Nile. <laughs> My stitches are gonna come loose. I know it won't be easy, chaps, but if we can overcome this centrifugal force, we should be able to climb out. Boy, you guys sure spend a lot of time going in circles. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, Gary. We would have escaped in any event, Miss Raven. And by the way, you're making another mess. Look what you have done. <laughs> what a messy child. Go, now go upstairs with you. Yeah, Helga. I, I think I'm getting a cold. And it's all because of that Helga. Yeah, she be deadlier than vampire, man. Not quite. Until we can recapture him, our biggest threat will always be vampire. Look into my ring. I command you. You will listen only to me and obey. Face it, vampire. Your power has shrunk along with your size. You can't even control a dog. <laughs> Silence, Medusa. You couldn't turn a cricket to stone. Now you listen to me, dog. You will obey. I will obey. Well, I see size hasn't affected Swamp Beast. No, he's as tense as ever. Oh, I can't wait to turn him loose on that wretched invisible man and his pathetic friends. Maybe your ring needs a recharge, vampire. Get back! I'm your master, you misbegotten mutt! <laughs> Being small. Oh, it's your own fault. You're the genius who shrunk us in the first place. Quiet back there! We're trying to watch the movie! <laughs> I just love trash. Then I'll bet you like this movie. Did you ever see such a fake-looking monster? <laughs> what a scream! Oh, I love a good scream. Something's happening! Yes, we're growing. It must be the power of the stream. Yes, I feel wonderful. Hey, how about shutting up back there? <laughs> we're back, and soon I'll control the whole world. Oh, yeah. You're forgetting a few little things, vampire, like Invisible Man and... We'll take care of them through their little friend, Carrie Raven. I'll drive, then I'll fly! Ah, oh, well, I suppose you want to autograph. Well, Mr. Raven is not at home. Goodbye! Goodbye yourself. Your worst nightmare. Vampire! Oh, can't we talk this over? We can talk later. Right now, I'm dying of thirst. <laughs> yeah, how about a nice soda pop? Oh no, I never drink soda pop. All right, vampire. I know how you hate garlic. Take this. <laughs> Don't believe everything you read. <laughs> Sound like Carrie. Help! Hold on, scream, scream. I love a good scream. <laughs> Look at the size.
size of swamp beast footprints. Oh, this is terrible. What are we going to do? They're big, we're small. They've got Terry, and I got a big thing. Calm yourself, Big Ed. First, we must think logically. Second, Wolfman gets a good whiff of this. Ooh, it smells like the landfill on a hot day. So? So, that Wolfman nose of yours should be able to track Swampy's scent right back to the vampire's lair. <sighs> I feel the blood pounding in my ears. Boy, that's, 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 oh! oh! monsters. Good, bad. We could still be friends. Listen, I really love your hair, Medusa. Do you use a conditioner? Or just a snake charmer? Oh, let me turn her to stone. No, I'm going to turn her into my slave. Then she will lure her friends to me so I can destroy them. No, I'd never hurt my friends. My will is too strong. Look. Look! Well, maybe. Vampire, you're getting little. We're all getting little. The scream in the movie made us big ones. We'll go back to the drive-in. And soon we'll be bigger and badder than ever. <laughs> and the world will answer to me. <laughs> I command you, don't let the girl escape! Now's my chance! Whoever owned these legs first must have had bad knees! starting to pick up a different scent. Kind of familiar. <laughs> kind of like uh, wolf or... Dog! <laughs> Big dog! We're here to rescue you, Miss Raven. You call this rescuing me? Looks more like I'm gonna be doing the rescuing. Let go of my mummy, you big mutt! Oh. Oh. Uh, good doggy. Big Ed, Carrie's in danger. Carrie? I am danger? I told you all along we could take care of ourselves, right, Big Ed? But our biggest battle lies ahead. We must find Vampire and discover how he regained his size. Oh, he's not big anymore, but I know how he got big. And I even know where he is. But you guys don't need my help anymore. Well, perhaps we could accept your help. Just this once. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but little monsters just attacked me! Monsters? <laughs> That's silly. What did they want? They wanted to see the Shriek again, but I'd already sent the print back to Ray Fay and Burbank. Burbank? I said, just where is this Burbank? Well, it is rather late, Ali, you know, but I'm always happy to receive fans. After all, I can't ignore the little people who made me a star, Ma. She's crazier than you are. Now, who should I make this out to, Ali? Enough of this. I'll scare that scream out of her. Ray, 
What if I told you I was a vampire? Well, no offense, darling, but I've worked with the best, and you just don't have it. <laughs> well, for one thing, you're too short. <sighs> I mean, a real vampire. What a pathetic scream. You'll have to excuse my friend. He was just so excited by your performance in The Shriek and hoped he could see it again. Oh, really? Well, why didn't you say so? Just a few more blocks, guys. Sorry, the popcorn's a little stale. <laughs> Thanks. Just the way I like it. <laughs> Set. I'll get the lights. Wait! More little fans? Well, you're just in time, darling. Yes, to stop the show. This show must go on, Invisible Man. We'll see about that, vampire. You'll be slippery as a snake woman. I am a snake wolf breath. <laughs> Fool, dear! Pathetic fools! You can't stop me! If you didn't act so mean, vampire, I wouldn't have to do this! I dare you to try that again! Oh, you're really starting to bug me! No, wait! He's got something up his cape! There's a special effect I've never seen before. Now, you will watch while I destroy your little friends. Uh-oh. Where's that big bad werewolf now? Or are you too shy to gaze at Medusa? Leave my friends alone, you big bat bully! In my movies, darling, this is the part where I run screaming for help. Well, what's his problem? He's under vampire spell. Hey, that gives me an idea. <laughs> you will obey my every command. <laughs> uh, can I keep them vampire? Please, please, please. Give them to Medusa. Now, carry the projector back to the junkyard. I want to make sure we can get bigger again and again. Your master! Ooh. Get the girl! No! I'm your master! <laughs> Don't you growl at me! Take me! And now, I'll teach you to meddle with a real vampire! Hold the cord steady, chaps. I shall attempt to reverse the scream's effect by reversing the scream itself. to destroy you, Invisible Man! You've caused enough trouble for one night. Ouch! You ruined my favorite bill! Ow! Ah! Hey, boy! Wait for us! Medusa's stony stare will wear off in a few hours, but I'm afraid this film is permanently destroyed. I hope you'll accept my humble apologies, Miss Fay, and my compliments on creating the brilliant vampire charade that saved us. Oh, don't thank me, honey. I did the makeup, but it was your friend's idea. <laughs> Maybe you owe Carrie an apology too, Doc. You're exactly right, Mummy. Perhaps I have underestimated your contributions, Miss Raven. Um, Carrie. If that means we make a pretty good team, I accept. Uh, Doc? Let us help clean up, Miss Faye. It's the least we can do for wrecking your film. Well, I'd rather have new friends than an old film any day. Even if your new friends are monsters? You call these monsters? Oh, darling, you should have met some of the directors I've worked with. Oh. Hello, animal regulation. 
darling, when that mutt thaws out, I want it in the pound. Everybody ready to reduplicate the formula that made us bigger? Ready with the baking soda, Doc. Oh, I wish I didn't have to strain my neck to see. <laughs> Theoretically impossible. But it worked, same as last time. No, the same ingredients, but different amounts. The only thing that was the same was you. Carrie here laughed both times we tried to mix our growth formula. Then it was your laughter that made us get bigger. <laughs> I'm part of the formula? Apparently an integral part. I just need to find the rest of the formula that will make us big permanently. You'll be a very valuable part of the team, girl. You know, with us sticking together, Vampire and his guys don't stand a chance of ever taking over the world. Hey, hey not so hard. You're bending my boat. Monster in my pocket. Tomorrow, grab your sweetie, put on your dancing shoes, and have a really cool time with some party animals on the all-new America's Funniest Home Videos. Then, it's an all-new America's Funniest People with special guest hosts, the kids from Home Improvement.